Hello everyone, welcome back. This video shows you how to crochet a bag using two lip stitch. The materials record are four play acrylic yarn, four mm crochet hook, stitch markers, D ring and D hook, two numbers, scissors, blunt needle. You can use any kind of yarn and its relevant hook size. Let's begin our project by working a slip knot. Once we have done with our slip knot, continue working a chain 7 for the base. So yarn over, pull through the loop. This will be our first chain. Again continue working 6 more chains. Once you have done with your chain, work one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Now continue working one single crochet into the next 5 stitches. In the end of the round, we will be getting 6 single crochet. So now we have completed our row 1. For the next row, chain 1, turn the project and work one single crochet into the very first chain. Don't skip any chain and work one single crochet into the very first chain. And into the next five stitches work one single crochet. In the end of the row 2 we will get six single crochet. For the next row, chain 1 and turn the work. Work 1 single crochet into the very first stitch and work 1 single crochet into the next 5 stitches. So, in the end of the round, you will be getting 6 single crochet. Now we have reached the end of the row 3. For the next row, repeat the same pattern, chain 1, turn work and do a one single crochet into the very first chain and one single crochet into the next five stitches so from row 5 to row 36 we are repeating the same pattern so pause the video continue working i will be meeting you at the end of the row 36 So now we have completed our single crochet round. Now we are going to work around. So for the round 1, chain 1, work 1 single crochet into the same chain space. Place the marker in the top of the single crochet. For this round, we are going to work into the loops. Not in the spaces. So continue working. One single crochet into the next 35 loops. So don't miss any loop. Once you have reached the corner, please check whether you have worked 36 single crochet. So this round is very important because if we miss any chain, we won't get our pattern. Now we have completed working one single crochet into the 34 loops except the single crochet that we have placed the marker including that we will get 35 stitches and once you have completed the 34 single crochet don't miss the loop in the corner you should work into the corner so that you will get 36 single crochet once you have done with that single crochet work one single crochet into the next six chains each and every corner you should count the chains so that you won't miss any chains in any place now 
again work one single crochet into the next 36 loops. Again, once you have reached the corner, you should count all the single crochet. Now we have completed working one single crochet in 35 loops. So there will be one more loop available. So work one single crochet. Now we will get 36 single crochet. Now there will be 6 chains left over. So work 1 single crochet into each stitch. Now we have completed working 6 single crochet. Remove the marker. And slip stitch. Now we have completed working our base. Please check whether you get 84 stitches. For the next round work chain 1 and work one half double crochet into the back loop of same chain space. So this round we will be working in the back loop of each stitch. So place marker in the very first half double crochet and work one half double crochet into the back loop of next 83 stitches. Now we have completed working 84 half double crochet. Remove the marker and slip stitch. For the next round, work a chain 1, 1 half double crochet into the same chain space and place marker in the top of the half double crochet and continue working 1 half double crochet all across the stitches. So in the end of the round 3, you will be getting 84 half double crochet. Now we have completed working one half double crochet in 84 stitches. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Once you have done with the slip stitch, work chain 1, cut the extra yarn and pull the remaining yarn through the chain 1. So for the next round we are going to add a new color. For the next color yarn I am taking a green color yarn. So I am going to make a slip knot and going to insert the yarn through the chain where I did the slip stitch. Now work chain 4 and 1 DC into the same chain space. This pattern is also called as V-stitch. So in this round we are going to work a V-stitch. Here chain 3 will be considered as 1 DC. So beginners can mark in the third chain. Now we are going to skip the next 2 stitches and into the 3rd stitch 
continue working 1 DC chain 1 1 DC now again skip 2 chains and into the third chain work 1 DC chain 1 1 DC also called as V stitch so again skip 2 chain and into the third chain work V stitch so pass the video continue working the same pattern throughout the round 3 I will be meeting you in the end of the round 3 Now we have completed working our V stitches. In the end of the round 3, you will be get 2 stitches left over and in the top of the chain 3, work a slip stitch. Once you have completed working a slip stitch, chain on and cut the extra yarn. Now we have completed our round 3. For the next round, we are going to add a new color yarn. You can select the color of the yarn as you wish. So now we are going to work in the chain on space. Change the yarn and work a slip knot. And insert the yarn through the chain on space in the V-stitch. So we are going to work in the center of the V-stitch. So insert the yarn through the chain on space of the V-stitch and work chain 3. and 4 DC in the same chain space. Now we are going to work the popcorn stitch. Once you have completed the 4 DC, pull the yarn out and insert the hook in the chain 3 space. and pull the yarn through the chain 3. So now our first popcorn is ready. Chain 3. Place marker in the top of the chain 1. In the next V stitch we are going to work 5 DC. In the fifth DC, pull the yarn, take the hook off and insert the hook into the first DC and pull the yarn through the first DC. Again, you will get the popcorn stitch. Now chain 3. In the next V stitch, work 5 DC. Once you have completed the 5th DC, pull the yarn out and take the hook out and insert the hook into the very first DC and pull the yarn through the first DC and work the chain 3. So in this round, this is the pattern, a popcorn stitch and chain 3. So pause the video, continue working a popcorn stitch and chain 3 throughout the round 4. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 4. Now we have completed working our popcorn and chain 3.
remove the marker and slip stitch so we are going to slip stitch in the very first chain and make a chain one cut the yarn in each and every round insert the extra yarn using a blunt needle for the next round we are adding veggie cutter yarn by making a slip knot and insert the yarn in the top of the popcorn stitch where we have worked the slip stitch for round 5 chain 1 and work one half double crochet into the same chain space and place the marker in the top of the half double crochet now work one half double crochet in the next chain 2 space and work one long half double crochet in between the dc below that is in the middle of the dc in the round 4 we are going to work a long half double crochet again work one half double crochet in the top of the popcorn stitch again work one half double crochet in the chain 2 space now work one long half double crochet in between the dc below so in each and every popcorn you are going to continue the same pattern that is in the top of the popcorn you are going to work one half double crochet and in chain 2 space you are going to work one half double crochet and one long half double crochet so pause the video continue working the pattern i will be meeting you in the end of the round now we are in the end of the round 4 remove the marker and slip stitch for the next three rounds we are going to work a half double crochet so chain 1 one, one half double crochet into the same chain space and place the marker in the top of the half double crochet and work one half double crochet in the next 84 sorry 83 stitches so continue working one half double crochet in the next stitches pause the video continue working i will be meeting you in the end of the round 6 now we are in the end of the round 6 remove the marker and make a slip stitch 
so for the next two rounds we are going to work half double crochet so for the round 7 and 8 we are going to work same pattern chain 1 1 half double crochet into the same chain space and place the marker in the top of the half double crochet and continue working 1 half double crochet into the next 83 stitches the end of the round 7 and 8 you will be getting 84 half double crochet pause the video continue working half double crochet for two rounds i will be meeting you in the end of the round 8 now we are in the end of the round 8 remove the marker and slip stitch now chain on cut the yarn For the next round, we are going to insert the green color yarn, make a slip knot and insert in the top of the popcorn stitch. So check whether the half double crochet comes in between middle of the popcorn stitch. So insert the yarn through the chain, work chain 4, 1 DC. So this round is the repetition of the round 3. So work on DC in same chain space. Beginners can mark in the chain 3. Now skip 2 chains and in the 3rd chain work 1 DC chain on 1 DC. So in the third chain work 1 DC chain on 1 DC. Again skip 2 chains and in third chain work 1 DC chain on 1 DC. So continue working the same pattern throughout the round 9. Pause the video and continue working. The same pattern I will be meeting you in the end of the round 9. Now we are in the end of the round 9. Slip stitch in top of chain 3. Chain 1 and cut the yarn. Now we are going to add a new color. If you want to continue with the same color, you continue with the same color. If you want to work with a new color, you can work with a new color. So now I am going to add a new color yarn, make a slip knot and insert through the chain on space and I am going to work a chain 3 and 4 DC. So here I am going to work a popcorn stitch. This round is similar to the round 5. So once you have completed 4 DC, pull the yarn out and remove the hook. Insert the hook in the top of chain 3 and pull the yarn through the chain 3 and work chain 3 after completing chain 3 place marker in top of chain 1 and now work a popcorn stitch in chain 1 space so work 5 DC After completing the 5th DC, pull the yarn out and remove the hook. Insert the hook in 
first DC and pull the yarn through the DC chain and work chain 3. Continue the same pattern throughout the round 10. Pause the video. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 10. Now we are in the end of the round 10. Slip stitch in the top of the popcorn stitch. So remove marker and slip stitch. Chain 1 and cut the extra yarn. So our pattern is repetition of 4 rows. Again insert the veggie yarn through the slip knot that we made now. Make a slip knot and insert the yarn through the middle of popcorn. And Make a chain 1, 1 half double crochet in same chain space and place marker in top of the half double crochet. After placing marker, work 1 half double crochet in chain 2 space. And now we are going to work a long half double crochet. So insert the needle through the middle of the DC below and work a half double crochet. Again work one half double crochet in the top of the popcorn stitch and next in the chain 2 space and next a long half double crochet through the DC below. So this is the pattern for this round. So complete working the same pattern throughout the round 11. Pause the video. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 11. So I hope you understand the pattern. So this is a repetition pattern. So repeat the round 6 to 11 for your desired height. Now we are in the end of the round 26. So I have done with the same color yarn. So length of my bag is 7.50 inches for handle I am marking three and a half inches I am placing the marker in both the side after placing the marker I am going to work a half double crochet round skipping the middle chains So now I am going to place a D hook in the start. So you can choose the chains. So chain on, place the D hook, work one half double crochet through the D hook and place the marker in the top of the first half double crochet.
Now work one half double crochet through the D hook in next three stitches. So in the next three stitches, we are going to work half double crochet through the D hook. Now work one half double crochet till you reach the marker. So already we have placed the marker up to the marker work one half double crochet in each and every stitches. Now we have reached the marker, remove the marker and work one half double crochet in the same chain. So remove the marker and work one half double crochet and for the handle work chain 18. If you want a long handle you can make more chains so that you will get a lengthy handle. So if you want to avoid the D hook you can uh, remove the D hook and in the place of chains you can add an extra chain and you can use this as the handle. So here I am working a chain 18 and again I am skipping the below chains and removing the marker and in the place of the marker stitch I am working one half double crochet. So work one half double crochet in next chains. Once you have reached the corner place, we are going to add the D ring. So please select five chains in the corner place and mark with the marker. So I am selecting 5 stitches up to that stitch I am going to work one half double crochet. So now I am going to add the D ring. So I am going to work one half double crochet through the D ring. So watch carefully. Yarn over. Insert through the D ring and work one half double crochet in next 5 stitches. Now I have completed working 5 DC through the D hook. So please check with the base whether we have placed in the right area. Now work one half double crochet until you reach the next marker. Now we have reached the marker, remove the marker and work one half double crochet and the chain 18. Once you have complete the chain 18, skip the chains below and remove the next marker and work one half double crochet in the same stitch.
again work one half double crochet until the next marker So now I am going to work the last half double crochet through the D hook so that my corner will be equal to the D ring. Remove the marker and make a slip stitch. For the next round, chain 1 and work 1 half double crochet into the same chain space. And place the marker in top of the half double crochet and work one half double crochet on across the stitches. So now we are going to work in the chain. So in 18 chains we are going to work one half double crochet each. Now we are in the end of round 27, remove marker and slip stitch. And for the next two rounds we are working half double crochet. So chain 1, work 1 half double crochet into the same chain space and place the marker in the top of half double crochet and work 1 half double crochet all across the stitches. So continue working 1 half double crochet in each and every stitch. Pause the video, continue working. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 29. Now we have reached our round 29. Remove marker and work a slip stitch. Chain 1, cut the yarn. Now we have completed our bag. Don't forget to weave in all extra yarns using blunt needle. So tulip bag is ready. Now for the strap, make a slip knot and insert through the D hook. Work chain 1, work 4 single crochet through the D hook. Chain 3 and turn the project. Skip the very first stitch and into the next second stitch work 1 DC into the back loop. So skip the first stitch into the second stitch work double crochet and into the next two stitches work 1 double crochet each. Don't miss the turning chain. Now work chain 3. And turn the work, work 1 DC into the 
back loop of second chain skip the very first chain repeat the rounds for your record length so chain 3 skip the very first chain and work 1 DC into the back loop of the next 3 stitches so continue working the pattern till you reach your record length Now we are going to add the D-hook, chain 1 and place the D-hook, work 1 single crochet through the D-hook in next 4 stitches. Once you have completed the 4 single crochet through the D-hook, Chain on and cut the extra yarn. Weave in all the extra yarns. Now our strap is ready. We can insert the strap in the D-ring. Here our project ends, our bag is ready to use, it's very elegant and beautiful, give it a try. I hope you really enjoyed my video, thanks for watching, happy crocheting, take care and bye bye.